Hey everyone, did you know that factories around the world produce over 100 million spoons every single day? That's right, that's a staggering number, and it's just one of the many reasons why spoon manufacturing is such a fascinating topic. Welcome back to We All Makers. Today, we're diving into the world of spoon manufacturing. We're going to take a closer look at how raw metal is transformed into those shiny utensils we all use every day. Trust me, you'll be amazed at how quick and efficient this process is. Number 1. Starting with metal sheets. The process begins with large rolls or flat sheets of stainless steel, the most common material for spoons because of its durability and resistance to rust. These sheets are smooth and shiny, but still just raw material at this stage. Imagine how these cold, flat sheets will soon be transformed into the shiny, perfectly curved spoons we use every day. It all starts with this humble beginning, but don't let that fool you. There's a lot of work ahead to turn these sheets into something you can eat with. Did you know that the stainless steel sheets used to make spoons often come from recycled materials? That's right, those flat, shiny sheets might have once been a car door, a kitchen appliance, or even part of an old bridge. The recycling process involves melting down scrap metal and reforming it into new sheets, which are then used in various manufacturing processes, including making spoons. This not only helps reduce waste, but also saves energy, making the entire process more environmentally friendly. So, when you hold a spoon, you might actually be holding a small piece of history. 2. Cutting the spoon shapes Next, these sheets are fed into a press machine, which uses enormous pressure to cut out rough spoon shapes. Think of it like a giant cookie cutter, but for metal. Each press of the machine cuts out multiple spoon blanks in just seconds. These blanks are flat and have the general outline of a spoon, but they still need a lot of work. The precision here is incredible. Each cut must be exact to ensure no material is wasted, which is crucial in mass production, where efficiency is key. The machine that cuts out spoon shapes from metal sheets is incredibly precise and powerful, often exerting tons of pressure in just one quick motion. What's fascinating is that the design of the cutting tool, known as a die, is custom-made and can last for hundreds of thousands of cuts before it needs to be replaced. The die is so precise that it can cut through metal with the same accuracy every single time, ensuring that each spoon starts off identical. The leftover metal, called scrap, isn't wasted either. It's collected, melted down, and turned back into new sheets, making the process highly efficient and sustainable. Number 4. Shaping the spoons. Once the metal is properly softened, the spoon blanks are placed into molds that will give them their final shape. High pressure machines press the blanks into the molds, forming the spoon's bowl, handle, and edges. This step is where the spoon truly begins to look like a spoon. It's fascinating to watch these machines work with such force and precision. What was once a flat piece of metal is now unmistakably a spoon, ready to be polished and perfected. When spoons are shaped in the factory, the molds used are not just simple forms, they're designed with incredible precision to create the perfect curvature and thickness for each part of the spoon. What's really fascinating is that the molds take into account how the metal will behave under pressure. When the heated metal is pressed into the mold, it doesn't just fill the space, it actually flows and stretches to conform to the exact shape needed. The design of the mold also ensures that the thickness of the spoon is consistent throughout, thicker where it needs to be strong, like the handle, and thinner in the bowl, where it should be lighter and easier to use. This precision in shaping is what gives each spoon its unique feel and balance, making it comfortable to hold and use for everything from stirring coffee to eating soup. 5. Trimming and punching. After shaping, the spoons may have excess material around the edges, which needs to be trimmed off. Trimming machines neatly cut away any extra metal. If the design includes patterns, decorative edges, or holes in the handle for hanging, those are punched out at this stage as well. This part of the process is like giving the spoon a final haircut, ensuring it's neat and tidy. Any intricate designs or details are also added here, making each spoon unique and functional. 6. Polishing At this point, the spoons have their final shape, but they're still a bit rough. So they go into polishing machines, where they're tumbled with abrasive materials. This process smooths out any rough spots and gives the spoons a shiny, reflective surface. It's almost like watching a rough stone being polished into a gem. The transformation is incredible. The spoons go from dull and rough to smooth and shiny, all in a matter of minutes. Polishing spoons isn't just about making them shiny, it's a key step that also improves the spoon's hygiene and usability. 
The polishing process typically involves tumbling the spoons in a barrel with abrasive materials like tiny ceramic beads or even walnut shells. These materials smooth out the surface of the metal, removing any tiny scratches or imperfections left from the previous stages. But here's the fascinating part. This process not only makes the spoons look good, but it also creates a smoother surface that's less likely to harbor bacteria, making the spoons more sanitary. Plus, the smoother the finish, the less friction there is when you use the spoon, which means food slides off more easily, and cleaning the spoon is much simpler. So, the next time you notice that mirror-like shine, remember, it's not just for looks, it's also for your health and convenience. 7. Buffing To achieve that mirror-like finish we all love, the spoons are buffed using soft cloth wheels and polishing compounds. This step enhances the shine and gives each spoon that perfect, gleaming look. Buffing might seem like a small detail, but it's what sets apart a good spoon from a great one. The high gloss finish not only looks beautiful, but also makes the spoon feel smooth to the touch, an essential quality for any utensil. 8. Quality Inspection Before they're packed up, every spoon goes through a quality inspection. Workers or automated systems check for any defects, such as scratches or irregular shapes, ensuring only the best spoons make it to your table. This is where attention to detail really matters. No spoon is allowed to pass unless it's absolutely perfect. Imagine the amount of care that goes into making sure each spoon is just right, so it's ready to use as soon as it leaves the factory. Number 9. Packaging Finally, the spoons are sorted, counted, and packed into boxes or plastic sleeves, ready to be shipped to stores or restaurants around the world. From here, they make their way into your kitchen drawer. It's amazing to think that the spoon you use every day went through such a detailed and precise process to get to you. The next time you reach for a spoon, you'll know just how much work went into making it perfect. Do you have any interesting spoon stories? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other videos on manufacturing processes. Thanks for watching and see you next time.